Welcome to this week's What's Hot in the Week of the Wet Weasel. Now, arguably, US-China tensions are a mere sideshow when compared to the pantomime that is Sports Direct and its auditor or its ex-auditor, Grant Thornton. Well, according to the Financial Times, Grant Thornton has told regulators it intends to quit after it was told of a 674 million euro tax bill just hours before it was due to sign off on Sports Direct's much delayed annual results. Well, Sports Direct, meanwhile, says it intends to ask shareholders to approve the reappointment of Grant Thornton for one further year at the annual general meeting. Well, instead, Grant Thornton says it's not taking any rap and will not be seeking reappointment at Sports Direct's AGM on September the 11th. Thursday, we get half-year results from Kaz Minerals. Now, this just a couple of weeks after the company released its production report for six months in the second quarter, uh, which included a statement saying it was on track to achieve full-year copper production guidance. Now, Gem Diamonds also releases a trading update, and a lot of news came from that company way back in March 2019. Now, since March, the mantra has been that despite record profits, the dividend is being withheld due to the uncertain diamond market and the company's focus is on bolstering the financial position. Well, that position was indeed boosted by the sale of a 13.33 carat pink diamond for $8.8 million. Now, if that had been a green one, I might have been interested, but I think that's because it would have been called an emerald and not a diamond, or perhaps if you were unlucky, it would have been known as tourmaline. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Also on Thursday, we get interims from Marshalls. Now, not the seed sellers for the green fingered, but from the maker of bollards, block paving and other hardcore items. We'll find out if the company is still Brexit proof and doesn't need to bolster its financial position by cutting dividends. Now, this brings me back to the start of the week when we heard from Saudi Aramco. Now, if you didn't know what this company is all about, you should do because it is the world's largest oil company. It held its first ever earnings call this week uh, and that revealed first half net income fell 12% to a meager 47 billion US dollars. Now, even so, the company is still ahead of the world's six biggest listed oil producers combined. Aramco, though, paying out 46.4 billion US dollars in dividends in the first half. Now, The Guardian says that the company is moving ahead with a 2 trillion US dollar market float and investors are anticipating an IPO in 2020 or 2021. Also on Monday we heard that India's Reliance Industries is selling a 20% stake in its oil and chemicals business to Saudi Aramco in one of the largest ever foreign investments into India. Now, while the humble magpie may be a nuisance to some of us here in the UK, Saudi Aramco are on a mission to save a variety of the magpie, which is on the verge of extinction. And one major lesson that we've learned this week is that if you want to escape a driving ban, just tell the magistrates that your alter ego, Alan Partridge, was behind the steering wheel. Come on, Steve. Thank you very much for watching this week's What's Hot. I'll be back next week.